Let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. Boss, as of Vasgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up round here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes. Nah, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! On to the turntable! Train's facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now how do we turn this thing? Start it by finding a control. Keep on axe! 
to a gunfight, mate! All right! Turntable's clear. Come on, let's get that train turned around. here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. That train's a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. Kidding me. Turn up! Clock is ticking, people! The clock is not ticking! The clock is about to explode! Shit! No, no, not now! Guys, I'm in trouble! That's a 
No. I cut it a little close. Oh, yeah, dude. Come on. Let's just get back to the stick. No rest for the wicked, people. Swarm! Come on, Delta. Put him down. Girls, coming in. Stay there. training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? 
the call happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The Kong? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. Until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fate's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Jack, pulse. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. <laughs> That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm? We're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. <laughs> Can't believe Bear's seen Having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, let's put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. We got it. 
a scion! And it's got a bastion! Run! Put these assholes down! One less. Spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? <laughs> all right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. This one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again. Jack. That's the ticket. 
kid. Come on, this way. Look out! Jack. Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead! So where the hell are those beacons? Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Jack, pulse. Guys, look. The beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, what? What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base.
What the hell? Why isn't this stopping? Brakes might be toast. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to discuss that later. Swarm! Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Time to get out of here. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight. Stay close to me. You're covered. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. <laughs> okay, down the other side. <laughs> 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 We've got swords, people! <laughs> Get behind those sand 
that thing! They're tall poker right! Ah, tomato, tomato! Got you! Coming in! Can we hold them off? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Jack, pulse. <laughs> Boss, Del. When do you get the other side?
Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. This ain't injured my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. But there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities and said, Oh, hello. We'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So are Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, files. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. something, but the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to... To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. And it's just ahead. Park the skiff as close as you can. I think it's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. Jack, pulse. That thing to bear. Lead the way. <laughs> Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little pot frame. It was boring, so I came out here. Probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Talk. Yeah, uh, listen, kid. 
You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on! Before Baird loses his ride home! They're right on top of us! We're gonna clear this tarmac or Baird's not going anywhere! Come on, Delta! Turn it off! to stay, man!
Sanders. More bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. Paddock, mate, you hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. now the hangar it's time to put that rocket together sounds good to me what about paddock's nomads they have stuck their necks out for us maybe we own something for that sure but if we don't get our rocket launched soon it's not just paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about let's move it You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, eight out of ten. We'll do it again. 
And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Stay away, he never lost his rocket. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. Jack, pulse. <laughs> Better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place!
Jack, get this thing aligned. All right, we're back in business. Then climb aboard the rocket. You can ride it straight to the launch pad. Attitude, really, I am. But I remind you, I'm hanging from the back of a fucking train. Oh, oh, right, right. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which means we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the Jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. This is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Like that! Get another one! 
shit! It's coming around again! The spiracles! Get them while they're open!
save you again. Wait, are you keeping score? We're clear. So this is New Ephir, home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. Uh, I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. The Swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! Oh, damn it! They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, OK. 
Okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs. Like always. 